Okay, so we're in the finale, but where's the final zone? Like, where do you uh, access you tried, it? I think it's that egg shuttle. They tried the egg oh, shuttle. Oh, like yeah, times. true, true. Oh, and what then is they this? did this, and then they started it. Oh, shit, I'm gay. <laughs> 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 Welcome back to <laughs> Sunny <Sorry laughs> Colors <laughs> Ultimate. <laughs> we're not going back on that shuttle. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> That's what you critical get. Si critical system failure. Uh oh. Terminal velocity, which is one of the most raw names ever for a level. I actually really like this finale. What does the mind control cannon do? <laughs> it forces you to become freaky. It won't change a thing for me. Oh, I forgot he's back to normal. I kind of miss Pirate Robot Cowboy Island. Yes, I'm talking to you. There's nobody else here, so I must be talking to you. Why haven't we fixed your voice chip yet? Yo, quit watching my batteries over here. I've been working on it all day. What does that even mean? Oh, he's from New York, I see. Bada bing, bada boom. Does that have horns? Yes, because it's evil. <laughs> They're like me channel. Me. Oh no. Me win. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've suffered enough. I actually do like that detail, like how the first boss affected that part by having that limb there. Oh yeah. Because they show a cutscene of them cleaning it, but they're missing one part. Uh oh. That's hilarious, brother. It was a fun fact, not a joke. <laughs> we're just, we're just all kinds of cuckoo crazy for the grand finale. No, this can't be happening. I can't believe this. No way. He's like, give me a bagel, put some poop on it. <laughs> Huh? Why? That's the slang for putting like extra cream cheese or something. Like, put the poop. What the fuck? <laughs> it's oh, a real thing. That Why? It's a real thing. They're like, put some extra poop on it. Damn, I'm kind of gay. Whoa. I support it. I haven't seen a single rainbow in this game. Literally unplayable. <laughs> there we go, we got our literally unplayable in. <laughs> Why does bro just like that? Reverse Undertale. <laughs> <laughs> Me when I hear some good ass music. Oh, I fucking oh, hate this I level. I love dude. this level. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> erm, um, guys, you might want to take a look at this. Good, so it's not just me. Oh, and I feel the ground shaking under my feet and see plumes of dust rising and rubble tumbling and aliens running for their lives. Yeah, I get a bad Sonic, have you ever heard of a run on sentence? And he's like, yeah, I run all the time. <laughs> okay, that one was funny. <laughs> You're a hypocrite. <laughs> and he's like, no, I'm not. I'm a hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the song here is great, but there's a section here that I fucking hate. I used to replay this level, though. It's fun. Yeah. I love the atmosphere of it, like going down I know. here. Trying to desperately run back to the elevator while the entire thing explodes behind us. Yeah. This is like the Pretty climax bad. of Spider Verse, the second one. And I love climaxing. Huh? Whoa. <laughs> now he's getting crazier than I expected. 
No, 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 no. You didn't expect three more robots. Yeah, I used to play it all the time because of the music. I do love the um the OG rendition. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Tripping. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, not yet, start. Not yet. Wait, what's? Oh, wait, not yet. Yeah. Ladybugs. Use this chance to get some boost. It is possible to cheese the entirety, but I don't know. It's hard. My cheese. Me too. Me too. How about the chow? Nah. Not bad. Here we go. The return of Larry the Lobster. Oh brother, this guy stinks. Welcome to this salty spittoon. How tough are you? How tough am I? I endured this segment with no boost. Ah! Oh yeah. You get a VIP pass. <laughs> I believe you can avoid it by jumping, right? Like without boost? I've tried jumping in the past, but the hitboxes are a little funky. Yeah. And then they add the ladybugs and this. Run! That laser can reach you pretty fast if you're not careful. Yeah. Oh. It's hard to see it. Gotta restart the whole level when you lose to Larry, by the way. <laughs> what the hell? Yep, what it's the tricky. Hell? Oh my what god. The hell? Oh my god. It is quite the challenge, sadly. Guess we got the banger tunes. <laughs> I'm tripping. <laughs> okay, smash. Stumbling. Oh, there's more platform star lookout. Yeah, I see them. Rack up. There you you do have a full meter, so it would be funny if you just boosted the entire time now that we've seen you try to survive. Yeah, I might try that now. It worked for me once before in the OG, so I want to see if we can do it. Why don't these ladybugs have collision physics? Are they stupid? <laughs> Hello, sir. Goodbye. Is yeah, it rubber I would band? still. I would still watch out for the lasers. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, where's the whiz? Where's the whiz? Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Nice. Get away. I. Oh, I'm on oh, no. Oh god. Please. The level auto ends. Oh, please. Oh. <laughs> oh my heavens. Fucking end already. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> Watch. Basically, if you first try it, you'll usually just get the S yes, because you can't really beat that fast. Yeah. Ooh, boy. All right, boss time. Time to bail. So you can come back in. I know you're trying to be clever with this whole amusement park pun thing, but it's just coming off lame. Just say you're going to destroy us and stop embarrassing us. Jeez. Damn. Chill. I know. I work hard on them. No matter. I will destroy 
a silly little goofy game. <laughs> Hold up, Brandon. We're not yet done. <laughs> he takes more than That's... two hits to die. So while this is like an easy fight, I do actually enjoy the fight itself, like how it works. I think it's super I, I creative. I like this one. And the music too. It can be challenging like too, because well, just like level one of terminal velocity, there's no checkpoints. Yeah. As for you. The music is so fucking great here. I don't remember if they remix anything. I hope they don't. Here we go. Yo. I remember if we had the Tails navigation on, I remember it was chilling because at the very beginning, because Tails got shot down the elevator, it's like all like. Oh, yeah, I he's remember trying that. To talk to you and he can't. Ooh, yeah. And he's like, careful, he's. And then it, the transmission cuts off, and I was like, ooh. It's a cool touch. But yeah, you gotta. You gotta film. Didn't Forces rip off this fight? Yeah, the same thing. I remember seeing in Forces, it's literally the same robot, but gray. And you um you do the same thing where you homing attack up the arm into him. And I was like, this is shameless. You are cooking him though. You're forming a rainbow. We're getting yeah. some wisps back. There's the rainbow. He's got the powers too. Cuban spike. Wow. Very yeah, cool. I, I really love that he uses all of them with Frenzy on top. Right. It did take me a few tries to beat this as a kid. I remember it was tricky. Especially the laser jumps that he does sometimes. And time for the music switch. Here we go. I the love cube when wisp kind of the main theme back. The cube wisp kind of looks like a Minecraft squid. <laughs> oh yeah. It was like the most hype shit ever as a kid. Yeah. Oh, this part yeah. was hard. Ooh. Yeah. This part's hard. That starts playing Mario Party. <laughs> And then this part times perfectly with the attack too. And then the chorus comes in. Ooh. Okay, that is hype. Kill him! The Wait, power of the LGBT. I know. <laughs> Damn, I wish I waited until June. <laughs> Cooked. Did I get an S? Yeah, you have a puppy yeah. for that. Well done. That's the fastest I've ever seen that fight done. Yeah, I didn't remember it being that fast. Two minutes. It took me way longer back in the day. Um, because I'm epic, <laughs> I pulled a look. <laughs> You've been hanging around us too long. Yeah. <laughs> I love that they're just there. <laughs> well. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. He's just dead. A literal black hole. Oh yeah, it's like ultra realistic here when we see Sonic. Yeah. What about the other guests at the amusement park? <laughs> um, um. Don't worry about it. Forget okay. about it. Yay! <laughs> I love that meme. So the song's like, talk about spaced out. Got a blast. Oh, it's differently rendered. Yeah. This, oh my god. I do really love this part, yeah. I think it's so cool. Outrun a black hole. The music was crazy. I, I was sweating as a kid, because I was like, there's more? 
<laughs> yeah. Run! Silly Sonic, you can't outrun a black hole. He needs a kiss from Elise. <laughs> You're right. The whisper, like, we'll take you to her. Something funny about this cutscene, you can see uh, Burst the red void one. from the 3DS game. Whoa! It's okay, we're back on the surface. Tails! It's like ultra, it's like ultra Your eyes HD aren't now. reflective anymore. <laughs> <laughs> now this looks like ultimate. When we got like ultimate announced, I was really hoping that it was like similar to this, for example, in cutscenes, like just redoing mm. them, redoing them. Yeah, the jump from gameplay to that first tropical resort scene was really funny. Yeah. Because I was like, are we just playing the Wii version? Yeah, like it's cool and all, but they didn't really change much for this Ultimate Edition. They just added more costs. I have no attachment whatsoever for Yakker. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, Yakker. There's an actual translation there for like the 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 nerds that can translate it, so that's cute actually. Uh, I believe that it says if you can read this, you're a geek. I think, like on that screen that was shown shown there. Mm. Mm. But yeah, I will honestly. Ju I, I know that it's ironic because we played through it, but I will honestly just play the Wii version, like for any <laughs> replays or anything. True. If you've never played it before, yeah, Ultimate's infinitely more accessible. But if I can already tell from this alone. If you've already played Colors, there's not much of a reason to pick this up. Right, right. Yeah. Unless you sure, want, like, sure better frame rate, I guess. But, yeah. Like, this only if brought you're... new bugs. I've seen countless brand new bugs that weren't in the original. There's the crazy bloom effect. I mean, if you want to hear the ghost sound. <laughs> oh, God, the, the, the ghost music. Remix. Yeah. Here we go. In the so in the Wii... DS version, hmm? so oh, it says wait. we brought it up. Um, oh. So in the DS version, we get um, red flame, red fireball, I believe, uh, instead of yeah. the pink spike, and we get oh. purple void instead of violet frenzy. And another change is that um, in the DS version, um, you actually meet the other friends in the amusement park. Yeah, all of the previous Sonic characters are there. I yeah, they're just chilling. Things about the DS version. It's incredible, dude. That game is so great. It, it feels like a third Sonic Rush, yeah. essentially. Interesting. Also, um, in the DS version, if you manage to collect all the seven, all seven Chaos Emeralds, get the story actually continues. So what happens oh. there is that, um, basically the big mommy milkers, sexy <laughs> mother wisp. <laughs> she she. She becomes frenzied, and basically she's the actual secret final boss. She becomes freaky, yes. dude. <laughs> yeah. That's actually crazy, though. And you become supersonic to stop her. I kind of miss that era when games would release twice, but then they put the effort to make both like completely. Right, right. It was great, mm. dude. Because sure, the Switch is technically a handheld, but no, like it's very much a home console hybrid. Um, you don't get like handheld experiences like that where there's smaller scale games. Switch games are very much full AAA budget experiences, right? Mm -hmm. It's gone are the days where you could pick up a handheld game for half the price. Um, now we're just stuck in expensive land.
with the main AAA releases, and they're only getting more and more expensive to make in the first place. That being said, this remaster definitely feels a bit lazy at times from what I've seen. They added a few little things sprinkled throughout, but the fact that they only raised the price and the game started off extremely buggy, because we're playing this years after the remaster came out. Yeah, I I'll it is say... Disappointing. I will say that I was expecting like, like a lot more jank, but it was actually re relatively fine for the most part, As, except right. for like a, a time in which the sound glitch. Aside from that, it was perfectly fine, but yeah, it really feels like they put effort in the wrong parts, like making everything super blurry, like HD quote unquote, but it looks ugly to the eyes. Mm -hmm. And I already said it in an earlier episode, but the Sonic Generations remaster just looks so much more polished. Yeah. Of course, we'll see when the game comes out, but um, even then, I don't know. This one, it's hard to recommend if you've already experienced colors in any capacity before. Yeah, it's only for the freaks that like Sonic a lot like me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I, hey, I can't judge. I'll buy anything Mario related. Yeah, also, I really don't want to scare you guys. Uh, I looked it up and this is half an hour of credits. I'm not what kidding. What the hell? 30 minutes. The original was like 20 minutes or so. It was 15, I think. So this is like half more. <laughs> so... Oh, grab a snack, viewers, yep. because we are gonna podcast. I wish, I, it was, mean... I wish it was a better song because I do enjoy this song in the original, but this remix is just... I don't know. It just feels kind of unneeded. Like, it's just like... Adding like uh, EDM stuff and like you know like remix style stuff. Yeah, and I'm, I'm never, like I'm yeah. pretty picky when it comes to remixes. I don't right. Really I don't I don't like remixes that are just made for the sake of being remixes. Like just like remastering it, like adding like effects everywhere. And I don't know. I don't like it. It's like this. Like right. It's like I don't know. It feels too. It's over, over the top. Over the top. Like, yeah. Not... Yeah. Like it's the, like the phrase, um, less is more. Less you know? is more, yeah. Like, like when we watch the Shadow Generations trailer, that remix of the Bio Lizard theme, that shit is so good, dude. Oh, I love that remix. I think the song's called like Supporting Me. Supporting Me, yeah. I love that song. And the remix is different, but also the same. Yeah. They don't add 50 million pots and pans to the song. It happens a lot with remastered OSTs. The remastered OST for this game, there's hits and misses. Um, leading up to this game, they released a bunch of snippets on social media, and I've listened to a bunch of them leading up to the game's release. And I like some, I'm not too hot on others. They introduced the option to switch the OSTs, which is fine and all, but um, I also wasn't a fan of, I mentioned in a previous episode, the multiple versions of the game, like... It's just overwhelming as a for the consumer to like understand what the hell they're buying. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you buy this one, you get this, this, and this, but you don't get this. Super Monkey Ball is falling victim to that as well. A lot of Sega games I mean... are getting a really annoying uh, multi versions and all that. All our misgivings aside, like the game, like at the very least, the original version of this game. Um, I was very happy with what came out, and mm -hmm. throughout the months I was waiting for it, it felt really worth it because it, it felt like a spot. It felt like the first solid Sonic experience in a while. Like, sure, oh, we yeah. have we have all these problems with this with this version, but the original version, um, it gave me hope for a while that this janky somewhat janky ass series is going can, can be good still in the modern yeah. era and it's especially it's like, what came out this generations it right sound, it might sound mean spirited but it's more so the way i see it especially with like when i talk about it with my friends it's like i like to like rant and talk about it just because you care you know like yeah you, essentially you that's why you see them do well that's why you see me like all the time like fucking say that oh i fucking hate this franchise this game sucks I, everything it's like <laughs> i roast like my favorite singers because yeah. i know they can do great so i like like my like... favorite thing ever i've been growing up with him but it's like dude please realize you your know mistakes. that they have the they have the talent to produce some really great stuff i love this game um, uh too but if I were to be honest, I wish the story was different. Like, 
I get that they try to be simple, but at the same time, you can tell that they try too hard to be funny and like, haha, Saturday morning humor. It's uh, very yeah. Saturday morning cartoon, which could at, turn off some people. Yeah, at first I didn't mind it, but now I'm like, I felt nothing for this story, dude. <laughs> like, nothing. Right, we're kind of just glazed by it. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, I still enjoy the game, you know, despite everything we've said. Like, it's a good game. Yeah. It's just ultimate, if we're talking about Sonic Colors Ultimate, I think it's a hard sell in the 2020s, you know? It really when is. When it's getting harder and harder to justify full price games. I know the game goes on sale frequently, but I'm like, that's a tough sell when it first came out. Yeah, and there's a reason why it's on sale often, because I don't think they they have much faith in it anymore. <laughs> right, because like, at launch it released buggy, you know, crashing. Yeah, oh, it, it was so bad. <laughs> it was horrible. I've seen videos of it, the game just going crazy bad. We had a nice smooth playthrough, but like, releasing the game in that state was not the move. And at that price, and what do I get, a baby Sonic keychain? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it was, it was nice to revisit the game, because I haven't seen a playthrough of this in a long, long time. I still really enjoyed at least getting to sit through it again. I don't know when I'll come back to Sonic Colors myself, but... I know too, we didn't show it, but the game land, I think you just play a bunch of levels in like this like cyberspace kind of thing. Yeah. There's also this like red Sonic with an antenna. Yeah, that kind of creeped me out. <laughs> and, and there's on... like this Eggman with hard eyes chasing you and you can't kill And on anything. the Wii version, you can choose your me. Oh yeah. Just like Mario Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> The game gave up, dude. I'm waiting for the song to kick in. What song? Hell? <laughs> uh, I don't think there's any song. We're now. just in the void. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> now, like I said, it was nice to revisit. And generate like Sean said, generations came after, so there was some optimism for a few years, I remember. Then the Wii U happened, and no one was optimistic for we that. We got and we got Lost World and Sonic Boom. <laughs> and the worst two Olympic games too. Oh man, this is so and Rio are not it. I'm sad to say. It's like a literal roller coaster with this franchise. Yeah. We got Sonic Mania after. We got Sonic Mania after Sonic Boom, Fire and Ice. But even though Fire and Ice was actually better than most people expected, um, the, I think the reputation of the first one really killed the sequel. <laughs> it also and then, came very late in the 3DS lifetime. True. Then Mania comes out. Forces comes out just a few months later, right next to Odyssey. Oh, come on. Very and then your guys' favorite TSR. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that Sand Road remix goes crazy. That whole soundtrack is fucking. <laughs> I believe you guys. <laughs> that soundtrack is stuck in a mediocre game when it should be in like a Sonic Adventure 3 or something. Dude. <laughs> it was so bad, viewers, that Star and I would join a random online lobby and find each other. Yeah. Because there was no one. Out of all the TSR players on Switch on Earth, <laughs> there were not that many. I even played through story mode in that game. As presented by Microsoft PowerPoint. I didn't. I didn't bother to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, I gotta get this off the backlog somehow. We had those few sessions. I mean, it was a fun game, but alas. If I had to, like, uh, compare this series to, like, a meme, it'd be like, it's we're so back and it's so over, like, again and again. And again. Yeah. Because what we have right now, um, Frontiers and Superstars, and people are kind of mixed on Superstars, but I think people really like Frontiers. And we're getting, um, Son Shadow Generations. <laughs> you wanna and know that's what? looking to be hella 
Yeah. Oh, good. Stuff. You wanna know what's funny about what you said about uh, Frontiers and Superstars? <laughs> no. I actually really love Superstars, but I'm very mixed on Frontiers. <laughs> it's interesting, eh? Like, both of the <laughs> games are pretty mixed. Um, yeah, but I'm not gonna shit on anyone for liking or disliking either. They can do agreed. whatever the I'm fuck the they same. like. Me neither. It's like, whatever. But it's interesting, because... Um, oh, we got to the Sonic Colors Ultimate credits. Oh. <gasps> That's Wowie. huge. Blind Squirrel Gaming. They sure were blinded. That's why they didn't find the flaws with this port. Yeah, they did. <laughs> so, funny thing, about, funny thing about that is that they actually stopped tweeting after this game came out. They just gave up. Oh, God. <laughs> Bruh. That's like the freaking devs that made Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. <laughs> it also happened with uh, with Sonic Boom. The devs just fucking died right after. <laughs> they know what they've the... done. I, I heard those devs are working on something else, or they've made something else. Let me find them. This Game Freak did not make Brilliant Diamond. It was Silka, right? Silka. Yeah. They're helping with Sand, or well, Sand Lane came out earlier this year. They helped with that. And they helped with One Piece Odyssey, and that's about it. One hell of a game to trust them with for the first project was the remakes of Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> I have nothing else to say, but sigh. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole other can of worms, viewers. We'll get there with Pokemon, though. I liked Gen 9. I was happy with Gen 9. We're still in Gen 9. <laughs> I love that. I love that they gave up with the songs and just played the opening again. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, shit, what other song can we use? Just play Aquarium Park for 30 minutes, I don't mind. Right. Play the ghost trap music for 30 minutes. <laughs> I wish that I wish I could choose. <laughs> <laughs> we just hear that and go insane from hearing the 10 second loop. Oh, dude, you know what this reminded me of? The, Mar the Ryman Legends uh, credits. Wasn't it similar to this? Yes. But better, of Ubisoft course. Ubisoft games are also very long credits. Yeah. God, I wish Legends had online, dude. Fuck. That would be so perfect for the channel. It would, but I'm like, oh, but the slapping though is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> you can slap each other mid-jump and everything. I'm like, oh, that's so obnoxious. But it would be good. That game is so good. That was one of the best platforms of the 2010s. Right. Oh my god, voice crack. I've been talking too much. My voice cracks are showing, dude. I know, we've been yapping forever. For Viewers, con if you stick around, thank you, yeah. by the way. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> I, say, I, I yeah. was gonna say that for context. We've been recording the whole game in one sitting. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we actually did it. It's been a long night. four hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> finished it in one session, which is hilarious. I Imagine thought it would take us this. two sessions, maybe three. Right. Also, that was a shot. Imagine after this, they just play Colors Weave into a Spiral. <laughs> Welcome to part one of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. All stages. All stages. We're gonna do they're that one day. They're both ultimate, and they're both, and they both have colors. And they're both, and they're both bad games, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Spicy, spicy takes. <laughs> I'm not there to pause the game for us, though. <laughs> Can you pause it? Oh, you can skip it. But I won't no. because content. Like... It's content. We have to sit through the whole thing. People will think that the finale is this crazy long epic saga in the terminal <laughs> velocity. The, and yeah. then they scroll over the video <laughs> and it's just this. Yeah, like imagine <laughs> that they see my first death on the craft and they go like, what, what? is that why the video is so long? Dude, she sucks. But then we beat the game like 10 minutes soon. You literally beat Eggman in two and a half minutes. Yeah. <laughs> like, that is hilarious. Is that easy? Shit. How many renditions of Reach for the Stars are they gonna do in this credits? 
I got Jillian. <laughs> Is this the end? It's not. Because they finished with Lime Squirrel and I thought maybe. Right. Gano from Ace Attorney 3. <laughs> Brando oh. and I just perk up. <laughs> you balk in real life. <laughs> Literally, I'm Talking. pointing at the screen star, I'm pointing at the monitor. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that a uh, good way to find out if the credits end, uh, it's gonna show like a planet on the background. Oh, I see. It's just a Starship Mario. <laughs> <laughs> you can now, like... and then you can you can now play as Luigi. <laughs> oh, all of a sudden, I just want to... this outer space adventure just makes me think of Mario Galaxy now. <laughs> Time to go listen to the Galaxy 2 OST. Oh, dude. You know what's funny about that? One of my favorite songs about Ga for Galaxy is the Fire Flower theme. <laughs> Unironically, I see the vision. <laughs> I don't know why. I love it so much. No, you know which one makes me want to shake ass? Is, um... What? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. In Galaxy 2, there's a boss fight where you have to use the fire flower to, um, it's the only way to attack. So you have to be quick because the fire flowers are limited in that game. And when you, only in that boss fight when you get the fire flower, they add some crazy percussion to that Ooh. song star. And it's so fucking catchy. They like completely change the song, like while still being the same song. That little jingle. It's in Galaxy 2 when you're in the desert world and you're fighting freaking Squizzard. What the hell kind of name is that? <laughs> That's my favorite Sonic Colors moment. <laughs> <laughs> they literally just went back to the title screen. That's hilarious. Yeah. Google mention. Who is Fontworks? Huh? Studio. I know we haven't seen the planet yet. I keep thinking, you never know. We start getting some definitive names like the Sonic Studios. <laughs> that threw me off. I was like, huh? Hopefully, uh. Hopefully, this ends, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully the viewers had fun with our little journey. Hmm. We uh our colorful we'll be back journey. for more Sonic for sure. Very colorful, yeah. It's funny our next Sonic series will likely be Generations again. It's gonna be uh, like ten parts of Sean and I fucking screaming at the fan service with Brandon being like Yeah. <laughs> Yo yeah, I need to play that one. Yo <laughs> It's Metal Overload. And Brandon's like who? I'm like oh, <laughs> Gonna be like, I need to rewatch from Megatron. And, like, <laughs> and, Brando's um, gonna, and Brando's gonna be like, "Oh, is that one stage from Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games?" <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pull that this time. Oh yeah, right. But they didn't have any color stages though. <laughs> um, oh, now I'm sad. Maybe they did in the the horrible Wii U ones. No one played. I, actually, I think they they do have Sweet Mountain in one of them. I, I think, think so. It's, it feels familiar, yeah. They had to have put Planet Wisp in one of them. What if Planet Wisp was called Planet, Planet Wisp? Wisp and, oh. that's, <laughs> and that's why the, 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 the water is purple. <laughs> what if I... <laughs> correlation? What if I shot myself <laughs> in the face, dude? P P Planet Wisp. W with, as in, you, you piss? Oh, I see. What if I shot you in the face? <laughs> <laughs> Very fun. This is the first time we had this trio on the channel too. We'll definitely do this configuration again. <laughs> Imagine this the last. <laughs> <laughs> and then Sean died. <laughs> no, it was so nice. I didn't have to do the intro every time. It was beautiful. Right. I love that at the start we assumed that you were just gonna do the intro. 
It's and like Sean was like, let me cook real quick and I yeah. was like, bet. And then Star was like on God for real for real. And then Sean did his thing and we were like, welcome back to Sonic Colors. <laughs> it's so funny though, like I got my fill watching this game to the point where I'm like, I don't need to replay this. <laughs> <laughs> I almost bought Ultimate when it first came out, but then I held back because at launch this game was really, really cool. Right. And barely functioned. I still, I think, I remember I got a receipt too. I canceled my pre order too. I was like, damn. I haven't damn. done that in a long time. I was like, no more baby keychain for me. I wish the mommy wisp was in this version. That's why this is not truly ultimate. True. What are your thoughts on the Queen Bee from Super Mario Galaxy? Why was she in Mario Kart 7? Why was she not in 8, dude? Fuck! Gucci! I've never heard this song before. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Honey Queen. I never questioned it back then. Then I was like, that part was kind of weird. <laughs> oh, I just saw the JJK spoiler y'all were talking about. Yeah, people are not going to shut up about it. <laughs> of course. I don't know if that was in a video or between. The name is trending right now. Oh my it, god. It was in between, Brando, but yeah. There was in between episodes viewers. They were talking about a manga spoiler. And of course, it's all over Twitter. It's all over the floor. Of course. I would have found out anyway. Yeah. I'm too chronically online for this. Oh, it's the remastered version. Did you hear that edgy voice chop star? Yeah. I knew it was gonna come to that. <laughs> you do. Uh, Dang it. Tabu Goko. <laughs> Fucking love that song. <laughs> Oh god, we gotta hear more verses. I'm so used to the opening version. Do you guys think... I don't, Dix but yeah. <laughs> Do you guys think they'll change Stick's design in the next mainline? I wonder, because uh, she became quote-unquote canon in Frontier, so yeah, like, what the fuck are they gonna do with that? Really? Yeah, yeah. they named the her. <laughs> And funnily enough, in that same game, in that same game, they mention one of the IW characters. <gasps> Ooh, uh, Whisper. Oh, that's awesome. Lesbians are winning. <laughs> that sounds funny <laughs> out of context, too. God, this credits makes, are fucking long, makes dude. Makes me curious, though, with how frequently they've been shitting out these Sonic games, I wonder how long before the next mainline win. It's funny you say that, because uh, I heard that, that this uh, the upcoming one, Generations, was done a while ago, actually. Really? Like, it's mostly really? been polishing up, yeah. And that makes, that makes Colors Ultimate extra funny. Right? And it makes sense, too, because they already have the Sonic part done, because it's just like a upscaling, basically. But it sounds like they were more involved with this one, so maybe that's why they delegated a different studio to this. Yeah. Like with Pokemon trying to do yearly releases, right? Right. Now Sonic's doing next to yearly releases. Yeah, Sega's going kind of crazy. I mean, luckily, they're they're getting a lot of the money back, but it's like, damn, they gotta watch it this, this decade. They're going kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with their pillars, with like Persona, Yakuza, and this, Jesus Christ! They're dude. cranking out games like crazy now. Oh, is that? Oh shit! I see it. Uh oh. Oh. The end of the yap sesh. We can I reach for my bed to sleep. <laughs> I live in a place like that. That 
vocals chop sounded funny too. Nay. All right, let's get one more rendition of Reach for the Stars. Please. Please. <laughs> They really looping songs, man. They could have just played half the OST at this point. Are we waiting for a post credit scene? Yes. No. <laughs> Thanos well, comes into the screen and well, throws Sean, it back. if you leave early, you're gonna miss the Mama Wisp cameo. <sighs> Oh my god, dude! That made me jump! <laughs> the inhale, too, was crazy. Like, you charged that one up. I sure did. What makes it worse is your smug ass avatar at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I did that. You're cool for school. Yeah. Right, we have to acknowledge Nana. It's like a publishing career. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, wait, our avatars. <laughs> How long is, is We have to once again acknowledge our dear friend Nana, Tentacled Queen, for these avatars. Thank so you, you know again, who the hell is <laughs> who the hell is yapping about what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Indeed. I will put them on the description too, but it's good to bring it up in BD itself. Indeed. Indeed! Me when I'm malos. Rethra. <laughs> Not I feel saying bad. that over the memoriam. <laughs> I feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so bad. You heartless. Me loving memory. Me when I play Kingdom of Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I was oh hoping no one would say anything when I spurted out the heartless. I was like, uh oh. Someone's gonna jump on that and be like. <laughs> Clayton. What the fuck you just ended? <laughs> oh, there is a post credit scene. This is actually the prologue to <laughs> Generations, actually. Sure, Jan. Oh like he's back to his old self, and it's the freaking. <laughs> I can't even say it. Say it. I'm trying to remember his name again. <laughs> the IWC jumps out. I'm gay. Oh. Yeah. Jumps off the table. Boing. Me, me when I sound effects. Me when, me when, me when me I when I walk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> me when I walk. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you need to clip that and ship that to the DM immediately. <laughs> the others need to hear what the hell you just said to me. <laughs> Thank you, Blind Squirrel, and good night, Tri-State Area. And thank you, viewers, for watching. Thank you. We got more Sonic playlists on the channel, and stay tuned for more Sonic content on Friend Train. Thank you.